Hey guys, so uh, welcome back to the continuation part in phone call scenario. So we'll do this project continuation. The whatever we have stopped in a previous uh, video, we're going to look into the continuation part. So do check this video and then and as, as well as uh, if you haven't checked the previous video, then do check the video and then come back here so that you can get some more clarity, uh, like what we actually where we actually stopped in the previous video and then now what we're actually doing it. So yeah, that's it. So watch the video put and then see so that you're going to get why we're actually using this function about the difference between and why we actually need it yeah ff uh, uh f flush and then i'm going to do std i n and then semicolon so regarding this is uh, this uh, this is nothing but a buffer so regarding what is mean by buffer and any let, let me go to head over to uh, our favorite uh, documentation that is uh, grief for weeks so if you want to know about um, more yeah let me open it first grief for geeks uh, buffer in gmini yeah, so now we got uh, something, I don't know whether it's, uh, maybe we, yeah, yeah, so this is a buffering, clearing the input buffer in C or C++. So let's go into it. So actually buffering is nothing but a temporary area, like it's going to, it's nothing but a temporary area, it's called a buffer. More about if you want to learn more about uh, buffer. So let's uh, head over to this uh, Greek for Greek site. So we have a link, uh, if possible, I'll link in, uh, will I'll try to link it in the description below. Else, uh, head over to this thing, or else even you can uh, Google it. Buffer and see Greek for gigs. You'll get this particular Greek for gig site. Head over to it if you want to know about uh, buffer. Then have a look into it. And even in buffer also, there are a lot more things uh, in buffer as well. Not only the F yeah, flush. Um, there are other more things in the buffer. If you want to learn more about uh, buffer, then head over to Greek for gigs and then. Uh, Try to get it so i try to there's nothing a temporary memory it's nothing about a buffer it's nothing about a temporary memory if you want to uh, know about uh, more about it then just head out to it what is actually happening is uh here we are not even it's not even taking the input right so that's the reason we're actually using this uh, buffer class so it's going to be uh, buffer remove this uh, temporary uh, memory like uh, you're going to clear the you're going to remove it something like a catchy something like you have say that's what will be happening it uh, and then once it clears, now it will be able to take, uh, actually store it, take an input. Sometimes it happens because, why it happens because is uh, when you have like uh, some of the inputs before that, uh, like integers or something else, then you, if you came suddenly to characters or strings, then sometimes it may ha happens. Not all the case, uh, based upon the requirement and uh, based upon the uh, code that you're working with. So based upon that, you have to use if any faces anything. Then you can use it in your code so that may be helpful for you as well in your um, you know coming projects or anything else if you want to do with uh, strings and characters so then you can have a look into it so let me run the code again and we die i'm going to keep the line down number i'm going to make a call here so it's calling it and it's taking some time here delay that's what you have to observe it once it's going into delay and it's going to print the ringing and so it's ringing the ringing and then at the same time we're going to getting the beep sound background I don't know whether your guys are observing it so now we'll see now before that uh, we're actually printing the else condition as well so now we got this in here yeah, that's what it is I'm going to type y yeah. so when I click on a y score and date so that's what I got and again uh, it asked me to enter a daily number or make a call whatever it may be so I'll enter again a daily number uh, here I'm going to give again my random number and again I'm going to make a call here. I'm going to make a call. Here this time I'm going to say no here. Yeah? So let's see what would happen. Like so yeah, I'm going to give an end here. So he please end the call. I'm about to die. So it's a kind of funny message. So yeah, now I don't want to die my phone, so I'm going to click on Y here. So now it's going to exit from that. So if you want to completely exit from your phone or if you want to click on the power button or whatever it may be on your phone uh, once you done with your things then you're going to head over to this thing i'm going to click on the exit button so when you click on the exit so it's nothing but uh, uh shadowing your mobile or like not completely shadowing uh, like at least i'm clicking on the power button uh yeah that's what it did mean exactly so let's actually 
uh, explore and then write uh, some more things in it no actually coming to the other things uh, we have one more function that is left here uh, that is anonymous uh, function so let's actually uh, explore about anonymous function I mean, let's create the anonymous function what exactly and how it works and everything let's create it uh, the anonymous function so everything whatever we have uh, created in now maybe we also going to use so it's, uh, those things as well i'm going to create void i'm not going to return anything so yeah with an anonymous function what are what are the things that i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to uh, generate a random phone number here so uh, the random phone number that whatever we actually uh, want to generate a random number that's what actually we are want to print it out the random number uh, to display to other persons like the whenever if you want to prank with your friends or whatever maybe so then you can uh, do this kind of thing mm, like you can have like a anonymous function anonymous call to uh, with uh, the anonymous uh, number so at the time we can generate a random number so to display to other persons so let's uh, do that as well so let's uh, generate a random number so i'm going to generate a random number so that i'm going to create a new function uh, for generating a, a random number random phone number phone number random phone number i'm going to generate a random phone number here it's also wide so i'm going to not going to return anything here what this function does is everything let's see uh yes Rand. It's already we already explored in our uh, you know in the pre in the previous step as well. We already use it uh, when we actually generating a random number. At the same time, here also we are using the same rand. Yes, rand. Uh, the time null. It's like it acts like refreshing it uh, without using it. You won't get a random number, but you will get a random number. But uh, every time you know you run it, the same number you're going to get it. But you're going to refresh the time. Like so get refreshing the time and then you can generate a new number like that. You go to act as a that uh, uh, for like you know C programming. What you when you actually generate a random number with a rand function? Uh, once you generate it, it every time you go to generate the same number uh, at least for a, maybe if you assume like a one one minute, you keep on generating a one for it enter one minute the same number even if you like how n number of times if you run the code code again. You're going to generate the same random number, but when you use this particular function, it's actually going to it acts as like a refreshing the time uh, to second minute. You're going to jump from one minute, one minute to second minute, so that it's going to refresh the time, and then you're going to generate a new number. So it acts like a, that kind of thing. You're going to act as a so so better clarity I have given in this kind of thing. Yeah. So uh, for for understanding for beginners, I have given in this kind of in this way. I have said it in this way. So now I'm going to int i equal to zero. Maybe uh, int i is equal to ten. I mean uh, less than ten. Then i plus plus. And then so here what I'm going to do phone num and I'm going to uh, store it inside uh, phone num uh, phone num array. So that I'm actually going to create it. Uh, again, I'm going to create it as a uh, global as a global function. Let me get, pick this out. And I'm going to create it out uh, globally. So I can actually access it through the program. I'm going to mention an array of size 10 here. So now what I'm going to do. Uh, here I'm going to generate a random numbers and then I'm going to store it inside the phone number every time keep on I'm going to store it inside the phone number so that all actually I want to do so that is the uh, main theme for this generating a numbers rand and then uh, rand function and then percentage uh, percentage and then nine because I'm not using that particular formula uh yeah so this is all not really, yeah so even i'm not using the particular formula because uh uh that is actually not required because uh, uh even in the phone number we can also have a zeros as well right so uh, 
Oh, so even I want to generate from the zeros as well. So I don't want to give it in. So what, why we're actually using inside a for loop is because let's keep on looping it. This RAND function is keep on looping it and it will keep on generate a new, new random number and then store it inside an array. So almost we're actually looping 10 times around so that uh, it will get 10 numbers. So it's a kind of phone number we're actually generating. So we're generating a phone number. So so that's why I actually generating a phone number here. And then uh, I have mentioned here uh, wide random and everything in the function is end. So now let's uh, move on to anonymous call here. So beginning of anonymous call, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this particular function uh, to actually generate uh, the particular uh, random phone number. So once it generated it, everything is going to store inside the phone number and it's a global function or the global, I mean, global array so that uh, we can utilize it throughout the program. So that's the reason we don't need to mention it once we declare it, we're going to get an access. So that's what I'm actually doing here. Now I'm going to use printf function uh, calling from. I'm going to use a calling from and then for loop, with a for loop int i equals to zero and uh, in, 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 and then i plus plus that's what actually i'm doing here and open and close curl bracket within open and close curl bracket what i'm going to do is i'm going to print out percentage b here and then i'm going to print out the phone num i'm going to print out the phone num and then i so every time i keep on looping it I'm printing the, the I'm generating a random number and then I'm storing it inside the phone number array and then I'm printing the phone number array. So that's what actually I'm doing here. So once we generate the number, so what I'm going to do is the same thing how we actually when we actually about uh, calling it. So here when we actually calling this, we have mentioned calling it, we're not even mentioning any phone number here. But here we actually want to anonymous call, so we actually calling from. And then I just mention it, and then I'm looping through the, my uh, array, and then I'm just printing my array. Uh, all numbers I'm printing it out. So everything going to be come next to each other because I've just given some space, and here I'm not using any backward slash n. So that's the reason why I'm not using the backward slash n so that I can get easily from the continuation thing. So that's what I'm not using it. So now here. Uh, uh, once we calling from what we have used here, we have used a delay function. So same thing I'm going to mention here as well, uh, the delay function. So once the delay function is done, the same thing, what are the procedure that we have done? The same thing I'm going to do. So I'm going, actually, I'm going to copy this from here to here. And then I'm going to paste it here as well. So the same procedure I'm going to do. Uh, but the thing is like only difference is we are generating a random number and then we are printing a random number, random phone number. So that's the, that's the only, task that we are doing for random call, anonymous call for anonymous call uh, for to just prank your friends or anything if you want to don't know who actually from which number you want you actually calling from then you can use this kind of function to generate a random phone number and then call to the some other person so this is how it actually working so now we have a create this function anonymous fun call function and then we have also calling the anonymous call so let's run it out and then see. So actually, when, yeah, so actually dial pad is not getting perfectly. So let's actually change it. And also here also, let me add some question marks here. So that you're going to get some clarity. So actually not for, yeah. Uh, now, yeah, so here it is. So let me give some space here. Like uh, we have two spacing and then let me give us two more space. Let's see whether it works or not, it or else we'll do. Was uh, backward slash tab is getting uh, too much space, so yeah, maybe we need one more space, I guess. Uh, yeah, maybe it will work now, I guess. Let me run the total. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect now. Uh, so now let me enter and ask me to enter a phone number. So let me write a, a random number, and then it's asking to make a call here. So it's making a delay here. So that's what I have to observe here, and then ringing also is getting a background beep. I don't know whether you guys are getting it or not. If not, try it by yourself. You'll surely get it on your system. So now, uh, end the call. Yes or no? Then I'll enter it here. So it's asking, it will say the inner voice of my phone. It will say, please end the call. I'm about to die. Then I'll say, yes. 
<laughs> so yeah, so that's what it is. So now let's move on to the third option that we have. Oh, make an anonymous call. If you want to do some any prank calls or your friends or anything, then you don't want to um, mention the number. Then you can use this kind of functionality so that it will be generating random numbers each and every time. So let me enter three here. So calling from uh, this particular member. So I have mentioned one or two, so that's just starting from one also. So maybe international call you can say, maybe. Uh, yeah, so once after the some random number generated, so it's getting uh, ringing. So ringing and ringing also it will generate some uh, random number and will ping, uh, once after that we will connect it, connect it and it will ask, again it will ask uh, end a call, yes or no, it will ask it. So I'll enter Y here. So now it will ask, uh, please end the call. I am about to die. So now I'll end the call by saying my. So all the functionalities are working. So now let me type something like four here. Uh, maybe it's not mentioned here, I guess. So let me actually add that as in. So let add the thing. So let me add it and then let's see now we actually printing this forward as well so it's what it will works so everything is fine the functionality is working and uh, make a call is working and all this uh, getting beep sound everything is working perfectly so that's it uh, for uh, regarding this uh, phone call scenario you guys so if you guys uh, like my work please do uh, mention in the comment section so that i can make uh, this kind of uh, uh, I'll just come with this kind of uh, uh, real time scenario projects or anything. So, even yeah, I'll just come up with this kind of things if you like it. Even I, do, I know that uh, maybe some you'll get some kind of bore if I do the regular uh, uh, the regular things that are water we study in our college or anything. So, I don't want to do the same thing. So, that's why I just came with something new here. And uh, yeah, I don't want to do also the same routine projects, the common projects. So I just came with this thing. So maybe yeah, I'll also come up uh, this kind of projects uh, in coming videos as well. If you like it, then do mention in the comment so that I can know that. Uh, so I then can make this kind of things uh, more and more. And also one more thing, guys. Uh, and also I want to address you one more thing as well. That is, uh, if you have any other ideas, this kind of things, then do also mention in the comment section as well. So that I'll also... Uh, try to do this this kind of things uh, what you want to actually uh, even I can also do that thing Maybe I will try like my level best and then I'll come up with a uh, solution and then um, And then I'll explain you guys how I've done and everything. So that's what uh, That's what I want to say. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching uh, If you like my video, please do like share and subscribe to co So thank you for watching the video